everybody, I'm Chris. Welcome back to My Bonsai. Today we're going to be working on a California Coastal Redwood. So let's go check it out. Alright guys, I hope the, uh, the backdrop here will help. Actually, I actually have a bigger one coming, but for now at least this will uh, make it a little bit easier to see what's going on with these trees. So I ordered this from the Johnson's company um, through Amazon, and I'll, I'll put a link in the description if you guys want to buy one. Uh, this is the California Coastal Redwood. Here's the tag. If you want to read the uh, Latin, I won't hazard trying to pronounce all that. And uh, it came in a tube in the mail. It took a couple of weeks. We've got kind of some dead tips out here coming, so it might have gotten a little dry in shipping. But uh, anyway, you know, one of the things you always want in your trees, you want to have a nice taper, right? So that, that shows that the tree is, is old, makes it look older. And this tree has got zero taper at all. And uh, these trees, the habit is dead straight, right, for the most part. So what I want to do here is a technique called bend and grow. So you'll let a leader grow out and then you bend it over and kind of turn it into a side branch. So I was looking at this. And if I take this branch here, and if I start to bend it over this way and lay it out, this now will become our new leader. And it's not a lot, but it's a little bit skinnier than, than the original leader. So I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna trim off some of these, uh, kind of a little cluster of needles down here. I don't need all this. I'm gonna leave one so we can use it for uh, maybe a sacrificial branch. Find the healthiest looking one, I guess. I think I'm going to need these needles. Pulling off these needles off the trunk will make it a little bit easier to wire. I'm going to smash those needles down. Some wire in here.
Okay, so that's a silly looking tree, isn't it? <laughs> but we're gonna let this grow for now. And I've got another branch over here. I can cut it back to that and uh, keep that branch live in this area. So we need to try to straighten the trunk up a little bit here. Okay, I think that's probably pretty good. branch to the back. If we were to completely remove that, that's starting to look like a fairly decent sort of a tree. But for now, this will help thicken up the trunk below.